Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Line and back with another CSR2 video. So we got a showdown up on the map. We're gonna show you guys the slowest, the fastest cars. We got the Atlantic Concept. We got the Regera CSR2 edition. We have a Nissan RS5 Coupe, which is a tier three car. And then we have the Nissan GTR50 prototype. So there's a bunch of tier five cars available and one tier three car, which is not ideal to run a three tier three car. So if you want to figure out which cars are actually the fastest, we have the Atlantic Concept with purple stars running seven zeros, and then we have the Golden Star version running 7.1s. After that, we have the Coenseg Regera CSR edition and purple stars running seven twos, and then we have the Golden Star also running seven twos. We got the GTR R50 prototype by Nissan. We got the purple star one running 7.6s, and then we have the Golden Star one running 7.7s. And then we have the tier three RS5 coupe with purple stars running 11 twos and the golden star one also running in the 11 twos, but do not expect to win anything with a uh, tier three car in a showdown. I mean, you might as well go ahead and do some races if that's all you have, because you will win some prizes and some game cash and a little bit of RP and this and that, but you're not going to get very far into it. So don't expect to climb up to the top with a tier three car. I mean, the Atlantic Concept or the Regera will get you pretty far in the showdown if you have them and they're maxed out. The way the matchmaking works for showdowns is, well, whoever has the fastest car wins, they match you up by trophies. You could have a really slow car, somebody else could have a super fast car, and if you both have 500 trophies, they'll still match you up together, and it's not exactly what you would call a fair fight on the racetrack. So matchmaking goes by trophies, and not the speed of your car, which is not really ideal to tell you the truth. I'm not really sure why they haven't figured out a better matchmaking system, because I'm pretty sure most of us would really enjoy some sort of fair system to where it matches you up according to how fast your car is. Now, they did change it like that for a while, and there was a bunch of problems, and people were down-tuning stuff, so eventually they changed it back, but hopefully one of these days they'll be able to figure out something a little different, so... I don't know we'll find out i guess one of these days maybe they'll do it maybe they won't we just don't know it's a possibility but yeah but for now just remember it matches you up by trophies and not how fast your car is so if you got a slow car you are not going to do well on the showdowns now i'm going to be using my regera here and it looks like this is probably a really fast car but i currently have this thing set up as a live racer on low 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 parts low upgrades whatever you want to call it whatever i just said there so if you notice i've only got a couple parts installed on i got the tires transmission and the nitrous upgraded to like stage three and stage four everything else is on stock so this car is not going to get anywhere in the showdown so honestly i do not expect to do very well on that showdown not very well at all but you know it is what it is so I'm just going to go ahead and run the races, do my best, and whatever I get, I get. I don't expect to get very far in that showdown, so, you know, normally I do a showdown on a live stream, but I don't have a car that's upgraded worth a crap for this one, so I think I'm just going to probably end up doing something else on Friday on my live stream, because that that would be a boring live stream. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win the first, like, 10 races and then lose everything else. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. This game's crazy on the matchmaking for showdowns. Some people love it, some people hate it, but most of us probably think the matchmaking for showdowns could be a little bit better. Unfortunately, there's no tricks to get better at showdown. I mean, you might find some ways to cheat and screw other people over because you're cheating, and if you do that, you're kind of a giant turd taco. Don't be that guy. Nobody likes the guy. Everybody's going to hate you. You'll probably get your account banned if they realize what you're doing. Like some people actually get their account banned for using those like uh, cheats and bugs and doing things incorrectly to take advantage over others. So they will ban you if they find out you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. Thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see my Discord server, my other YouTube channels. You'll see some affiliate links to help support this channel. I just heard that weird noise again. And you'll see all kinds of stuff. So check out the video's description. I'll try and remember to put some things in the pinned comment as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. See ya.